Welcome to this beautiful vlog. I cannot wait to finally share this with you. The next few videos show you the most incredible week I've ever had in Bavaria. Luis and I decided to take Maverick out on a hiking trip since it was over 30 degrees daily. We put our focus on water. Every day we either hiked to a mountain lake, climbed up a riverbed or hung out at lagoons. I hope you really enjoy and have as much as a great time watching as we had filming and experiencing. Welcome back to this two-part adventure. I'm super glad to have you here and if you have not seen the first one, definitely make sure to check it out after this. After finally submitting my final, we had a good night's sleep by the road and woke up the next morning to another big hike that will take us along some waterfalls, two more mountain lakes and a, for me, very sketchy peak ascent. day another hike another day another hike we just came to the upper more lake situation yeah <laughs> and but the lake is super murky a little bit muddy not as clear yeah. a little bit more dirty the and that one was definitely better yeah and there's lots of cow shit here <laughs> which indicates that there were obviously lots of cattle here so we might not want to go into the lake which is unfortunate but it's it's still like it's still super pretty it's like the color too it's kind of beautiful but it's not as clear and the air up here is so freaking good yeah it's still super nice and we're gonna have a break here we're gonna eat i'm gonna nap a little bit <laughs> probably me too and the plan is the original plan was to stay here for a bit longer two to three hours as the lake is not as beautiful as we thought which basically means that we can't go in or we don't want to go in yeah. that's why because we would have cooled down and like chilled and like hopped in and off but we're not doing that now so we're gonna shorten the break and then keep on moving and probably hop into another lake this afternoon when yeah. we're down in the valley again I felt really lightheaded after a big break and the quite exposed path up to the peak was definitely not helping. I did not know at this point that I would be in for a much wilder ride doing my first Via Ferrata, but that's for later.
Once on the mountain, we had some more cash butts in the because we had some left over and it just really is a perfectly wholesome after hike dinner. I need some extra energy now. I can already feel the caffeine. The matcha and this drink boosts energy naturally through L-theanine, which binds to caffeine molecules so they cannot block all of your sleep receptors at the same time so that you will not experience a caffeine crash afterwards. It's nature's time-released caffeine. Mm. Oh, it tastes like candy. Mm. And the sugar, oh. Instead of lots of processed sugars, which could lead to increased weight, higher blood pressure, inflammation, and diabetes, this productivity shot is sweetened with natural agave syrup, which tastes good and keeps you healthy. The taurine in this makes me climb every tree. Instead of inserting chemically created hormones into your system, Magic Mind releases stress and anxiety, contains nootropics, and has 150 antioxidants more than green tea. Mm. Ah, energy! Whew. I need some energy! Energy! Ah, ah, energy! Other than this adrenaline junkie, it is super important for me to be energized yet calm and collected while hiking in nature. Which is why I would love for you and for this guy to try out Magic Mind. You can do this with a 100% money back guarantee, no questions asked. To get 20% off at checkout, you can use my code Lucia20, which is on screen and will be in the description box down below. Now back to the adventures! In for another more chill day of recovering, we launch at some lagoons before heading to Lake Aiken. Hello everybody! Hello. Where are we? I don't know. So we are <laughs> right into nowhere, close to a river mouth, where we hopefully find a situation to swim and to jump off some called, small rocks. Called Gumpen. Gumpen. We call that Gumpen. Yes. yes. And it's really hard to get us all into a dive frame. My arm is falling off. We just had some lunch and relaxed for a second and now... We also cleaned the van. Oh, we did. And now we're gonna go. And the gross toilet. And see what we find.
like Aiken, we met up with Luis's dad and better half Sana, who actually wanted the coolest climbing park near the lake with her siblings, and we got to stay there for free and try out some of the parkours, as well as a free fall simulator, which, again, made me kind of shit my pants. But it was obviously super, super fun, and if you're ever staying at Lake Aiken, definitely make sure to check out their climbing park. I will have it linked in the description down below, if you're ever around that area vacationing. dinner we had a big barbecue with everyone there and since it was actually Sana's birthday shortly before Luce's dad wrote a poem which was super cute for her and read it out aloud during dinner good morning we're gonna go climb for the first time with like a set and a helmet and all this stuff and I'm super excited a little bit nervous to be honest because it's probably gonna be high up so let's see how that happens i probably won't be able to film a lot obviously as we're climbing but i'm gonna see that i can get some footage to show you let's go i'm super excited This was hands down one of the craziest experiences I had in my life so far because even though you're secured and will hopefully probably not die, the fear you feel while climbing around sheer drop sections, only standing on tiny pieces of rock and holding on with your hands is very real. I was also super stoked and very proud once I got back down, safe to say I felt alive.
the way I've been living I'm worried that you'll look at me different I'm worried that this will all change I'm worried about keeping you safe I'm worried that I'm not that lucky I'm worried that they never gonna love me I'm worried that I'll be a fucking joke I'm worried that I don't have control Don't worry, baby, don't worry Go and get some sleep Why you always in a hurry? You got bigger things planned for you Don't worry You ain't gotta come to conclusions this early Don't worry, baby, don't worry Go and get some sleep Why you always in a hurry? You got bigger things Hello. for you Don't worry. I... This climbing thing i don't know what the english word is maybe you should look it up but it's like a mixture of a hike and a climb it was super cool it was actually not as bad as i would have thought it to be because i this is obviously the first time that i was doing it and i was i'm actually not afraid of heights i think i'm just afraid of dying <laughs> so no but it was so much fun like it was super difficult and also super challenging and also super sketchy at some points and also like super steep and like just the rock and obviously it was a super easy route but for me it was super challenging and it was so much fun this was definitely also my favorite part of the whole day and of the whole hike was like the climbing in itself because it was so I don't know, it was so new and like so challenging and it was so crazy to just like stand there and obviously you're secured on the line but it still feels like just totally free. It was actually super super cool so I was having lots of fun. I just finished editing a video, it's currently uploading. We're gonna have some dinner now. I kind of snacked on a pizza so I'm not sure if I'm gonna eat some but that's what happened. Also, on a little book note, I finished, it's lying over there and I don't want to tip the camera over, but I finished Kingdom of the Curse, the second book in the Wicked series, and oh my god, I screamed when it ended, because it was so mad that it didn't go on, and I actually ordered, also secondhand, I ordered the third one, but it has not arrived yet, because we left before it could arrive, so I wanted to flip the page over and just keep reading so bad, because the cliffhanger was like... <sighs> Just keep on going, but it was so good. It was so much fun. I love the book. I would also probably give it like a four stars. I really enjoyed it. And yes, yeah, so this is all the updates. This is gonna be a last full evening, I think, in the van in like vacation mode. And we're just trying to enjoy it. I still need to make a thumbnail for the video, and then that's it. See you guys later. Again, thank you so, so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this two-part adventure and I will see you next Sunday with another video. Bye-bye!